everybody. I'm going to do a quick review on the Swiss Madison toilet. Now, they're all the same basically, but I'm going to go over what I think I like about it and what I think I don't like about it. Let me start going over the toilet. What I like about the Swiss Madison toilet is the look of it. It is a sexy toilet. There's no doubt about it. It is just a sexy looking toilet. Now, the clients, we did a total wash lid on it. It fit perfectly. There's no real issues with clearance. A lot of single bowl toilets, it's very hard to get a wash lid that fits because it curves like so. So the, the big back can't fit on it. So it is a really good looking toilet for a one piece. I've installed a lot of one piece toilets and this has to be one of my favorite designs on the toilet. So that is the big positive. Now, let's talk about the not so positive. Let's talk about the negatives. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the flusher. When the toilet comes, the flusher is not installed. You have to install it yourself. Now, Swiss Madison wants you to put a washer right here and it doesn't fit. This black washer on the outside that gets sucked in, it's not long enough. And I really struggled to put this on with the washer. So what I had to do was I just didn't take the washer off. And this nut is also, also it's a backward install. So uh, getting tighter is looser and getting looser is tighter. Now the flush j is just fine. It's, it's, a, it's a, it fills up pretty quickly, but I, I do not like the installation of the flusher. I, honestly, I think it just should be installed from the factory because I did spend quite a bit trying to put that little flusher on. Now, let's talk about the actual flush. I, I really, this is not, I'm not throwing golf balls down there or anything, but I feel like the flush is kind of weak. I don't know, I, I feel like you can't overfill this toilet, but if you do, it's going to clog easily. That, that is another, it's not a negative, it's not a positive, but I think it's something that people should be aware of, that the flush is kind of weak. Uh, it's not like a Kohler flush where you get a nice good flush. The installation of the actual toilet is really actually hard because as you see, it's a flat, it's straight, it's a flat bottom, so you can't see where you have to line up the bolts. So it's really hard to put the toilet in solo. It was very hard for me to line it up. I had to actually tilt it on one side to catch the bolt. Now, on regular toilets, all that's open so you could see where you place in the toilet. That really, that was really a negative for the install part of it. I didn't like that at all. So the other interesting aspect of this toilet is the wax ring. It's like a black sticky tar type of a wax ring now. It really sticks. I don't. I think it's overkill. Uh, I think you could get a regular wax ring. I don't know why they provided that, but when I I didn't use it. I actually threw it out. I bought my own because uh, it just it was too hard. It was too sticky. Like it just it wasn't wax. I don't know what the heck it was. I don't have a picture of it, but maybe I could find one. So with the blind install, it makes it really hard to use that wax ring. So I used one of those new foam tech. Uh, rings that are no wax and that to me is a way better way to install these toilets since it's available. So lastly, to install the washlet, I went over this in one of my other videos. It's tight to get that hose from the washlet onto the stove, the onto the toilet because there's no room. So what I had to do was it's a little pro trick. If you want to install a washlet on this toilet, take off the toilet, hook everything up first, and then install it with the total washlet. There's other washlets that the connection is actually on the valve itself, so you don't have that problem. But for the total washlets, you have to install the total piece first onto the Swiss Madison toilet, then hook it up before you install it. There's actually just enough room where it works. And that's what I did. I did buy an extension, but I didn't use it. So that is basically the toilet in a nutshell. Um, to sum up the Swiss Madison toilet, if I was gonna give it 
a one to five star, I would probably give it a two and a half. The positives are it's a beautiful looking toilet. I love how it looks, but that's where it stops basically. I feel like the company's kind of young and they need to work out some kinks on the engineering of the toilet. And the last thing I didn't mention is it's really hard to get a hand and a wrench inside of those two little holes put the, to bolt the toilet on. I mean, my hand is not huge, but it, I had a really hard time installing the bolts on there. So what I recommend is you get a quarter inch ratchet set with a long socket. It's a 14 or 15 milli millimeter, so bring both, uh, and use the quarter inch ratchet to install it. Now that's not something most plumbers have in their toolbox. You usually have an adjustable wrench, but that's the, uh, now that's the last part about it. So two and a half stars out of five. Uh, it's a pretty toilet, but it needs some finessing on the engineering side of it. So on that note, that's the Swiss Madison toilet, and I hope this review helped you pick it out. Now, lastly, would I buy it for my house? I would buy it for my house because I would buy it with a washlet. So that means less toilet paper, and I wouldn't really have to worry about the flushing as much. If it's a regular toilet where you have to use toilet paper, I might not recommend it. But since it's a washlet, I recommend it. So thanks for watching and I hope that it helped you make a decision on this toilet.